Okay, Marcel, here we go. There it is. It's This is a really nice watch. It's a, it's a very, it's a late SUA, February 81. It's pretty much when they were transferring over. But look at the perfect white loom, the brick red resist text. This is a really nice watch. Really nice watch. So we've got, uh, uh, it should be fairly basic. Uh, I don't anticipate it's going to be anything super funky. I mean, there's going to be some cleaning. You can see there's some gruck here, but that's typical. Uh, the biggest issue, of course, is that your crown doesn't screw down. But if you remember from your evaluation video, I, uh, I tested this with a new old stock crown, a brand new one, and it was fine. So I would think that we're pretty much just looking at servicing. Uh, the only thing I don't remember is if the mainspring arbor on this is worn. Boy, you can see the... Uh, the original seal on there. What does that mark say? Hmm. Servicing mark in there. No idea what that means. But let's... Uh... Let's see what's going on here. Um, I, I mean, I'd be shocked if, if we didn't need it. I mean, everybody o always does. Hmm. I don't know. I'll look at it. Interesting. A little bit of... What is that? Is that a little bit of corrosion? Hmm. No idea. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's jump in. Let's get, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look, it just came out of the factory. So pretty. A little bit of hazing on the hands, but that's normal. Just more and more, you just don't see them like this anymore. I don't even know how many I've owned like this, but, you know, not anymore. Best I've got is pretty worn now. Boy, that's pretty. Uh, the uh, You can see uh, that your crown seal disintegrated, and that's what all that black guck is. Um, thankfully, your stem is complete. It has everything that we need, including... The super vital stem rest washer, which is in there. I'll clean this all up and we'll see how it does. Okay, well, I've got the dial and everything pulled off. I want to, uh, we're going to see now how this looks. You can see this right here. This is, this black stuff, that's the S2 coming out of the mainspring barrel. Uh, and that certainly happens. The It does definitely has some play to the lower mainspring report. It's nowhere near as bad as... Other ones I've seen. Why am I trying to do this when I'm so far away? I don't know. Let's back those out. Let's find out together, shall we? Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's going on. The metal looks bright. I'll tell you that for nothing. Okay. So let's let us pull this stuff. I'm going to, this ratchet wheel, I'm going to have to hand clean. Oh, I was wrong. Black stuff must have been coming off of the, uh, the reduction wheel, which is right there. Huh. I'll have to, I'm going to hand clean that. Let's get these, darn it, get these screws out of here. I had somebody make a comment on one of my videos saying, hey, is there any way that you could hold off on doing these videos until there's no one home? Man, n someone is always home. Always. There we go. There's the S2. Oh, and you can see actually that the the bushing is, is blown through partially there. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll have to clean that up and see what we've got there. Definitely got lubrication that moved everywhere. You see that hazing on the on this fourth wheel? See that sort of hazing around the edge? That's old lubricant they got on everything. And a little bit of fiber stuff in there. Come on, you. Okay, 
And of course this pops right off. So let's see what, come on now. Let's see what treasures we got going on. Would you come off of there? Come on, wow. Why are you just acting like you're stuck? There, ooh, there we go. Yeah, that doesn't look great. Definitely seen worse, but that uh, doesn't look great. That old S2 lubricant that you can see there. All over, plated all over everything. Hmm. I'll look at the, I mean, my recommendation on something like this, I mean, I'm in here. This is a investment grade watch. Might as well do it. I mean, we're in there, right? Okay. Interesting. I don't know why this screw is br this screw this screw port is brassed out and this one isn't. I wonder what's up with that. Okay. Yeah. So looking at that lower mainspring arbor port, um, it's ovaled out a bit. You can see it. It's right here. You can see it's blown out. They oval out like this. Not a lot, believe me. I've seen much worse, but it's it's already moving. And if you look at the thickness of the bevel, you can see where it's thinner. So my recommendation would be to go ahead and get that taken care of. Let's get this all cleaned up, and I want to look at the jewels and make sure everything's the way it ought to be. Wow, the uh, day's really getting on. You can tell because of the sun... I'll have to close the curtains here. Anyway, so this is, uh, that's, that's some mighty good gruck. I had to really, really get in there to get this to pop off. I'm not exactly sure what this stuff is, but I'm going to get it going. I think that is what the, it's, I think that's what we need to have done. I don't, I don't know what this stuff is. Looks like earwax, but I'm pretty certain that's not what it is. There's no corrosion that I can see. I think it looks pretty good, all told. Let's look at that ceiling surface. I did not want to come out. There we go. There are your things. There's your little crystal. So, get your chapter ring out. Oh no, those ceiling surfaces look great. You look at the inside here, right in that level. This will clean up nicely, no problems. Okay, everything's coming out of the cleaner now, and so uh, things are looking good. So far, so good. Here is the, here's your plate there, and you can see the jewel in place. Let me get this. There's the jewel for the lower mainspring arbor port. Everything else is super nice and shiny. Here is, there's your case. Uh, the threads in the case, thankfully, are, while well, they're a little mashed over, they're not destroyed. I have to wash my, I've been dealing with all the grease in this watch, so that shows. This is your original crown, which is just, it just slide, it doesn't, doesn't screw down at all, it's just junk. So this is a new old stock crown, never been on a watch before. And we can see, sorry about my fingers there, that it screws down beautifully. And there we go. So that should be fun. Uh, let's uh, let's push forward. Okay. I never did get around to closing my shades, but that's okay because the sun went down. Because as usual, it has been a long day. But here we are. Everything's all clean and clear. Uh, and I always like to do this. It's the special time when we... Drop the balance. So let's me do that. Hang on, it's fighting me. Words you never want to hear when you're talking about a balance. Come on. That's what I get for trying to do this live. I should just, I should just be Come on, there she blows. Well, 
I did something right. It's running, which is always good. That's a good sign. Let's uh, drop that in there. See if we can get that to drop in there. There you go. Someone's at the door. Doesn't affect me, but there we go. Oh, Rocket. Why is Rocket squeaking about? Anyway, so it's running. So it's the end of the day. And uh, what I'm going to want to do then is I'm going to let this run in overnight. Um, and we'll see what it sounds like in the morning. It's been a long day. But for fun, let me look at the numbers. See if I can get this done here. So, I'm going to take this out of frame here for a second. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Well, I got some adjustments to do. I want to do a rough and tumble first adjustment, and then uh, let's see how the numbers go. So we are cruising along. I got a, a basic uh, basic adjustment done, but I want to let it run in overnight. I, I really am done for the day. But uh, it's okay. We're chugging along. So let's revisit tomorrow morning and see where we're at. And there we go. It's a little gray out today, so I don't have as much good light as I would normally like, but wow, is that pretty. It's especially so impressive to see the beautiful insert. Uh, I did firm up the back of the pip with binder to make sure that stays put. So that's there. The, it's, this really was a pretty fresh watch. The bezel action is really clicky. Uh, crown screws down smoothly and nicely. That's just a beautiful watch. Gosh, that's just a beautiful watch. Every time I see a watch like this, I'm like, man, I had watches like this. Why did I sell them? That's a sweet watch. Uh, all your stuff is in here. There's your crystal and crown and all that good stuff. What a beauty. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, there isn't really much more to say. Except for the worn lower mainspring arm report, it was awesome. What a great watch. I can't wait for you to get this back. Thank you so much, Marcel.